Today we're playing through one of my favorite games of all time, Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. And I have absolutely no idea what this game is. Yeah, this is Brian's first time ever seeing it, and that's why he's gonna be the one that plays it today. I get to enjoy it, act like I'm a YouTube watcher. You're gonna enjoy my pain. I'm gonna spoil it for you. All right, so we have to decide who's going to uh, voice who. You'll be the main character, so this is you. Oh, but this says question mark, okay. Massive high school towers all over not, the No, no, no. What? <laughs> no. I can't have one anime voice. <laughs> Not for the main character. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I don't want... Okay, fine. The massive high school towers over the, all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. Yeah, if only I graduated from there, I wouldn't have become a YouTuber. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop. Ah, what the heck? Read it faster! Built. It was the race hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend the school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. Seems like a very standard criteria. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopeless average high school student. Yeah, he really is very plain. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. So why are you here, dude? Sounds like you're a loser. <laughs> well, they're about to explain it. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. There's He's lying. He actually mutant. is a mutant. Spoiler alert. What the heck? I can't believe he said that. Uh, that that wasn't an uh, that wasn't a real spoiler alert. That was oh, actually. A joke. Oh, okay. Yes. There, you could literally tell me anything is happening in this game. I'd be like, okay, sure. <laughs> After a, a teddy bear just killed a guy who's standing in a rock. <laughs> okay. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't. What? Okay. You're talking too fast, Makoto. Anyway, I'm a bozo that nobody cares about. Rip bozo. Sounds like this kid really needs to touch grass. <laughs> yeah, but he is more gung-ho than other people. Well, that's something. He's got to give himself that crap. Yeah. And to be fair, he's also outside right now. So he probably has been touching grass. Yeah. He's clearly on the sidewalk. I Well, do you think he's never went off the sidewalk and onto regular grass? Let me tell you, when's the last time you went off the sidewalk into grass? Pretty often. Because it's like a shortcut. Are you? Oh, you're cutting corners? You're the guy that creates that kind of crap at schools? I mean, not really, if you have to. Like, you know, it's like, if... Anyway, but it's a wonder why I feel that way. What you have to understand is... Speaking. Let me tell you about preparation. I stole your voice lines, by the way. This is my time now, Brian. We're Fine. He has a split personalities. Okay, I like that. I like that. It makes him unique. <laughs> Come on, keep them coming. Apparently, my friend kind of knows them. They're into the state of art. No one cares. It's such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. They're influencers. Dude, this is literally a school made for you. I am not the ultimate. Look, I'd be, I, I'm like this guy, except I don't have his ultimate power. You literally could go to the school. They're definitely scouting you. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. What does that mean? I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer of a pop group famous across the country. Yeah, maybe if you waited a second, they would tell you, ask you questions <laughs> before you learn. There's also the ultimate baseball star. This guy's a god. What does that even mean? He was the cleanup hitter <laughs> for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Okay, that, that's what it means. You see that effect too? Dang. That was, that was really crazy. Cool. Whoa, whoa. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. What does that mean? Right, they're not going to tell us this time. Yeah, See, they, no, they, they, got, they don't care. She keeps they, on evolving, though. She's been on every cover of tons of fame fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. I don't know if I'd want to be that. Are you a high school girl, though? Yes. They also mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, <laughs> too. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Wait. Anyway, the scary thing is he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs wow. everywhere love the guy. Yeah, they don't discriminate. They just want cool people. Do they have, a, like, a serial killer in there? <laughs> On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. Oh, we're, we're reverting back to you. It's your turn. I feel like a tame little house cat. Wow. <laughs> Who says that about themselves? <laughs> 
<laughs> but still, there was something I couldn't uh, stop thinking about. <laughs> I'm just a little house cat. What are you doing? Dude? There's a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. Oh? With all those ultimate students, and the only one that came without any kind of worthwhile talent, you are just such a loser. <laughs> oh my gosh. But then, what about these other people? Oh, those are people who didn't seem to pop up anywhere. Hmm. When's the bear going to show up? Um, not for a little bit. Oh my gosh. Right, you gotta get the you gotta get the setting around, okay? I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's even a bigger issue. What is it? How did I even get picked? I'm trash. No one loves me. So look at this whole guy's personality. Maybe he's the ultimate like self-deprecating guy. Well, that, that, he's so self-deprecating that they chose. Him. He's literally the best in the world. Like, wow, nobody hates themselves more than you. Wait, this Recently. is the Swords of our bride. Okay, we had a lot of select one. Oh, uh, he's the uh, ultimate lucky <laughs> student. He has <laughs> like his power is just being boring. <laughs> I mean, being lucky is pretty, pretty cool. Is that like his whole gimmick? Is like he's just like super lucky and like that's why he wins fights? Um, I wish. No, he is he is lucky. That is the thing. Uh, I'll spoil it a little bit. Guaranteed for success. I just couldn't say no. This guy's cringe. I forgot He's how so cringy cringe. he is at the beginning of the game. But then, actually standing in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I couldn't even feel myself. Dude, it's like, what do you mean I feel like I don't belong here? You don't. That's literally the point. <laughs> yeah, but look how cool he is. He has that nice jacket on. They literally sent you the letter as a meme. <laughs> they were like, there's no way he accepts this. <laughs> They're like, you actually like showed up? Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> You do realize who your classmates are, right? <laughs> like, get out of here, you bum. He just starts crying. <laughs> Go back to the normal person school. <laughs> but I already paid my tuition. <laughs> you paid? <laughs> it's like, you just gave it. It's like, yeah, the janitor took it. <laughs> and like, who? <laughs> so, some guy came to my house. <laughs> okay, anyways. Wait, why is the text not blue anymore? Uh, this is where we're supposed to meet, right? I, it, it's it's when he's thinking, I think. There's a really oh. elegant clock over in the corner. It says 7, 10 a.m. The mm -hmm. meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so I guess there's a full 50 minutes left. Time to be self-deprecating and cry. It makes sense no one else would be here because I'm a crying baby. And I was yeah. way too early. Makoto go five seconds without saying a self-deprecating <laughs> thing. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly. I should go take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help calm me down a bit. True. That's a good idea. I am a student here now, so there, should, there shouldn't be any problems with me having to look around. <laughs> It'll kill some time, if nothing else. Oh, uh, it will help me kill. <laughs> you catch that? Double entendre. He's the bear. You figured it out. Oh my gosh. This is also my first step towards starting a new life at school. At least... That's what I was hoping for. Was. What the heck? Uh, he took some LSD earlier. Actually? <laughs> Brian, stop being so gullible. No, I literally, it's an anime video game. It felt like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And then the next moment, everything went black. Whoa. That's how it all began. Oh, what began? And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope Speak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. Oh my gosh. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. I knew it! <laughs> that was actually a really good way to say that. <laughs> oh, what? What's going on? God, I got so drunk last night. Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing here just now? This isn't a classroom I've been in before. What the heck is going on here? Hey! Why is he like Mario now? <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this? Welcome to Host Peak Academy. Wait, uh, you can be the narrator, Ryan. Okay. 
Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. First, we'd like, okay. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. What am I aiming at? If you aim at an object, you can interact with it. You can press the left mouse button and press. So you'll investigate that object. Use the WASD WASD button to adjust your viewpoint. WASD. Or you can press the right mouse button and move the M around. What? End move? Do you see that? They, info? they messed up slash N. I have never realized that they messed up. That's a coding thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is weird. You you can move okay. WASD around, Brian. Did you already forget the directions they just told? I mean, you can move the mouse around. Yeah, the mouse isn't working. Oh, it's not. It's working. You for got me. the mouse. All right, we'll have to we'll have to duel it. Okay. <laughs> look at the camera. Okay, looking at the camera. Oh gosh, this is the problem with <laughs> um, people, us doing this on my computer. <laughs> It's a dangerous world we live in. Guess they have to keep those weirdos from just wandering in. What, what kind of weirdos? Like people named Brian with a Y. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to clean that up later. My drool. The next semester is about to start. Pog, an orientation guide. I hate school. The next semester is about to start. Yeah, we already went through that. Oh, wait. Okay. No, never mind. It was a joke. All right, okay. The heck? Is that someone's idea of a joke? You got mouse now, Brian. Let's go. Let's, well, let's see. Yeah, I do. I got it. What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where the window should be. What? But it's... <laughs> Where's the window? <laughs> that, what? That's what we're freaking out about? Okay. Come on. But if we were to knock on it, bang, bang. Thick, solid, tight. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, <laughs> why are there metal plates over the windows? Does that not happen at all schools? Yeah, what? I Have thought that mind. was just normal. Look at this nice looking clock. 8 o'clock AM or PM? Uh, it doesn't matter. It's, there's too much glare on it. How could you tell? Let's see. So what may have happened is I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the middle of main hall, and then someone carried me here? If that's true, that must mean this is a class. <laughs> Dang, really imagine good. someone carrying you to class as your first impression. <laughs> That's one more question. This really is all strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows. It's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. Yes. I think we've figured out all we need to. Thank you very much. See, Brad, my plan, I'm not going to give you many hints at all, okay? I'll okay. give you them if you need them, but... This is this is, uh, this is a Brian experience. I'm just a watcher with also my face in the corner. It's purposely meant to make me look bad, as I said. <laughs> well, I'll just head to the main corner for now. Use the WASD keys to move through the hall. Hold on the shift. I can run? Oh, no. Yeah, if you're you can fast. Run. No, if you can run in the game, that's an <laughs> issue. I'm definitely running from the bear or something. I'm not listening to any of this. We're just the gonna... bear's a nice guy, man. He's a teddy bear. Oh, there's no space to jump? I mean, wouldn't that be a good thing? Because jumping no. uh, is too much exercise. As we all know, jumping is one of the most broken things in video games. Whoa, <laughs> is this the classroom just came from? Where does that door lead? I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Well, then go in. <laughs> I mean, maybe he's scared of doors. Some it's the janitor. Are. The janitor that stole our money. <laughs> the janitor, no! <laughs> the janitor did it. That seems Hap like a good room to go in. Hap out. Let's do a store. Oh, no stool pride. <laughs> yeah, I can't go buy like a shirt. Uh, this looks open. All right, we're just gonna walk in. By the time I got back into the main hall, everyone else was already there. The boys! Oh my, oh my gosh! <laughs> I can't take any of these people seriously. Seems like a good cutoff point. <laughs> Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Look at all these nerds. <laughs> hey, my name's Makoto Naegi. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then I got drunk. Whoa, huh? you also got drunk? Curious. That's not a word. These are the ultimate people. Wait, we gotta decide who's who. That's you, Brad. This one's you. So strange. I declared beyond a shadow of a doubt this is a strange situation indeed. What are you talking about? I have no idea what's going on right now. Just a moment. There's something we else we must address. Brian, I want some of the side characters. Okay, okay, you get the next one. No, You're you got this guy. This is unacceptable. Surely you were with me. We're supposed to start at 8 a.m. sharp. Dang. 
To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you. What? What a narc! Wow. <laughs> and you must accept your due punishment. <laughs> do you want? Do you want this lady? Alright, I'll have her. I'll have her. What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. Everyone, calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? The hell? No, there's no time for friggin' introductions. You got it. You, Brian. You got you. You got the win. Brian, no, no, Brian this one's you! <laughs> what? No, you want the- you want the- Okay, fine. Maybe, but- I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? That's a good point. <laughs> a normal point. <laughs> this one's you, Brian. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. <laughs> then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is as good a chance as I'm gonna get. And with all that, the introductions are done. We did it. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Who are you? Get out of here, dude. This is okay. you. Time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Well, you see, Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened, and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same's true for all of us. <gasps> what? Seriously? Just after each of us got knocked into the main hall, we lost consciousness. <laughs> and then we came to, we were like, oh, we're at the school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird. Not that every one of us got knocked out like that. This is, this is you. This is me, Dad. Exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. And Wait, no, that was me. This thing. is you. No. You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? Dang it. But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of metal plates. What's that about? Plus, all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Uh, yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What's it doing there? Maybe we just got caught up in some kind of like, you know, crime or something. What? Like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and all us over even though we're not actually a Why is he really right now? <laughs> He's on. just southern, man. <laughs> Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet all of this is part of the school. Oh yeah, that's it. I'm gonna take it easy for a bit. You're a psychic. Just tell us what's gonna happen. Oh. So you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? Oh, well, if that's it, it's time for nap time. I was up way too late that night. I could use some Jedi. I feel everyone's tension evaporating, but then it began. Uh-oh. You can be Motokuma. Be who? The bear. <laughs> the bear? The bear. The boy seemed totally out of place. He was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. What the heck was that just now? Well, then if you'll excuse me. Hey, what do you th think is showing off like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. The whole thing was just to get us pumped up for the entrance ceremony. It's Patrick! <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked out if it was real. Alright, I'll head out now. What do we think I'm playing for us next? Damn, I was looking forward to that map too. Why they gotta go and kill the moon? I did not understand what you said. Wait for me, I'll go with you. Is that then? I'll see you all there. I'll figure this in. Not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. Cause you know, the guns, they're still there. I gotta get it out of my mind. Why are there guns? And it looked like I wasn't the only one. This, this doesn't seem right. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, <laughs> with the, the guns behind her, <laughs> might not be safe. Are you guys a little bit curious? Huh? 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 If we don't push forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is the, the only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right, but still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice, we have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Yes. Wow, this is intense. <laughs> All right, let's go, we're going to the gym. Remember you can press tab to look at your map. Oh, oh yes, indeed. Oh, let's go to the bear's office. <laughs> oh, that's the bear's office. All right, let's go to the gym. Now that we're men, 
Jesus we can do anything. What is this kid yeah, talking about? He doesn't have powers. Look I how fast he moves. Head. Yeah, he is, he is the ultimate sprinter. <laughs> God, I had no idea this Hope Speak Academy was going to be such a pain in my balls. It ain't really that much there for the time I spent in juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. And why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? They're, they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well, hell, I ain't scared of nothing. Let's get it over with. Really, dude? You're kind of sweating like bullets over there. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, God, he, he just yelled so hard he disappeared. <laughs> Mondo, stop! No running! <laughs> hey, wait! Don't leave me out here alone! <laughs> Tutorial! You can press the tab key to observe the room you're in. Observing will display the people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Yeah, kind of a lame thing. Alright, let's try tab. Oh, we can... Check this. Ooh, a lot of TVs. They couldn't just all be for that weird school rock grass, could they? We want to talk to. Uh, man. We got two of your characters and one of mine. Let's talk to. Let's talk to. Uh, ooh, let's talk to the sword. <laughs> a sword. I'm gonna take it. I want to kill some people. We're we're taking that bear's head off. <laughs> a split. Oh, I, no! I didn't mean to talk to you. I'm trying to talk to. <laughs> let's just let's just get. There we go. It. <laughs> Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. <laughs> or maybe I'm just imagining that. Where are all the other students? It, because I didn't just see them go inside. <laughs> Don't go. This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Okay, you guys are no help. Still filled with uneasy dread. I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. See, I told you. It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right, but in a way that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. You think you can do that voice, Brian? Yes, but he's never gonna let me. He just keeps talking. <laughs> Yo, it's the squad! <laughs> the boys! Oh my gosh. Look at that Audi. <laughs> a, a teddy bear? I'm not They're a talking teddy. right now, Brian. Come on, stop taking their Let lives. me! I want to join! It's the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was. But I've seen it as completely utter... Incomprehensible. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I've been carrying with me was suddenly transformed into outright fear. What? what? That teddy bear can talk. Yeah. Calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Do the voice, Brian! He's talking! No, he isn't. What? It moved! Seriously, man! Calm down! It's probably just a remote control or something. Your voices are getting more and more intense. <laughs> How dare you compare me to child's plaything? You've cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. I don't know history. Or geography. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA couldn't recreate or even comprehend it. Ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. <laughs> bear? That really, you are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on, we really must hurry and get started. On. Giving it already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now. Quiet down. Ah, okay, so. He's abandoned the gap. Everyone stand at attention and bow, and good morning. You hear me? Good morning. You, you don't have, have to, to say it back. back. Wait, that's you? Hey, I'm Toku. Look, I haven't gotten to talk in so long. You haven't. Take the bear. No, it's, it's yours. It's hard. I'm, Take I'm using the, the bear. Same voice. I'm literally using the same voice as I'm using for the, the fanfic guy. And Do messy. bear now, Brian. <laughs> Now then, let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about your school life here. What will it be? And now, ah, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. 
Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? <laughs> ah, now then, regarding the end date for this communal life, there isn't one! In other words, you'll be here until the day you die, such as the school life you've been assigned. What did he just say? Until the day we die? Ah, but fear not, we have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Hold on a That's the least of our worries right now. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I am not screwing with you! I am no liar! Of that you can be 100% sure! Uh, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world, so you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? It's all those metal plates around the school. They're there to keep us trapped? It's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with that all in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Come on. Damn, Daniel, what the hell is this? I don't, I don't care about the school or whatever else is behind it. This is a real bad joke. Yeah, cut this shit out. It's not funny anymore. You keep saying that's a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether that or not that I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak. The undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live the light out here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Oh now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided all of your free will to attend the Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you already decided you don't want to be here? Hey, um... Oh, but you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. Really? As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who'd like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now let me tell you all about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on communal living. If someone were to disrupt that harmony, they would, they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is a graduation clause. What? By what, do you, what do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another... MURDER! Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, and knighting, how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. What's wrong with his voice? It's making a chill shot down my spine. <laughs> you must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. I was poisoned. I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell are you talking about? Kill each other, it's, it's. Kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. Oh, thank you. We know what it means. That's not the problem. What do you mean we have to kill each other? Yeah, stop blabbering on with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering? blabbering? You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go! You keep saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over! Listen! From this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? Yeah. And you can kill as much as you want to kill! So go ahead! Kill, kill, kill three! Alright, come on. How long are you gonna keep this up? Eh? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the heck out of us. <laughs> So you can go ahead and reveal the trick though. Reveal the, the trick? I'm right. Yeah, this is also got a trick. I'm a clairvoyant, I know it. Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Doving Hero's side, Mondo Wando placed himself in front of the <laughs> Mondo Kuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole. This is going way too far. 
What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What? You mean like your hair? Yes. <laughs> 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 Mondo roared out and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma, fast and straight as a bullet. He locked on his target. You're such a beady babidi. I'm gonna send you to hell. What? No smart ass comeback name time. Stop that goddamn beeper to say something! What? Hurry and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. Wait, he don't. Threw... Dang, you should have clicked. We should have let him die! I'm kidding. You can't do that. You can't? Oh my gosh, you had me excited for a second. <laughs> And as soon as he did... Oh! The who? That sure wasn't a joke, it blew up! There was a painful ring in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but... It's in real life. I'd never see anything like it. But you know, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Manukuma! Wait! There's another one. You son of a... You seriously tried to kill me just now? Well, yes, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off of a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. H hey, does, does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yeah. Manukumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be forgetting it with my next punishment, so don't let it happen again. That's not even punishment. That's just wrong. Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook, Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the e-handbook. Yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right to know. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space-age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Rules are strict, yes, but they are also protect. Society, for example, would be other chaos without laws. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. That makes sense. Okay. Well... That brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life and see ya! And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So guys, how would you define what we just experienced? That was awesome. I mean, I don't understand any of these. We have to live here forever or kill? What? What just happened? Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we stay here, living a communal life, together until the day we die. And the other choice is... We want to get out of here live, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But killing someone, that's... We are adopted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school! And now we're supposed to start killing each other. This is... This is... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. Hmm. Right. Now it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So words, is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? I mean, I could go for some killing, but <laughs> no one had a response. <laughs> Since nobody said anything, I decided to uh, just... just Sit this one out. <laughs> Being quiet to myself, I looked around at the others. Which one would be the easiest to kill? Stand off. We gotta team up on that buff. Sakura's <laughs> yeah. can literally kill everybody. 
They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma has laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were all forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? And that is how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of hope. Because I, I'm so happy I get to kill people. Literally, this is a dream. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh yeah, this is like the anime opening. It's actually a pretty sick intro, okay. This bear looks really familiar. I feel like he's kind of like a cultural icon now. Yeah, no, he's uh, definitely popular nowadays. Yeah, doesn't seem like a happy fellow. I mean, he's pretty happy. He's having the time of his life. That's, yes, this song does go hard. <laughs> this is a pretty sick anime. All right, we're back. God, my bloodlust. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Heck yeah. I want to kill more than one person. So my breath caught in my throat as I thought about all the death. We're literally right in the middle. Just like one <laughs> sweeping attack. I wish I brought that sword from earlier. <laughs> uh, air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight across my neck. It took everything I had to endure that weight. God, it's really awkward how we've all just been standing in the same place. <laughs> Everyone's just like posing super hard right now. <laughs> all it took was the pierce. It was... Fu I, I read that wrong. I it just... <laughs> Her sharp oh. words. So... so what are we going to do now? That's me, Brian. I'm Kirigiri. Wait, no, who's Kirigiri? I'm, she's the ultimate Kuner. question mark. Oh, okay, okay. I got to get the names down. Yeah, yeah. Just stand around glaring at each other. Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us back to reality. <laughs> right. She, She's right. Listen to me. Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you must just have to take a step forward. <laughs> to forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Someone hit me. Please punish me. Me, me, me. If you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it, like hit yourself. However, perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Idiot. Don't look out of the way, dude. And we totally need to find whoever's controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But before we do that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school's regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Fine. Let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Let's see. Makoto Naegi. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up in front and center. Then, from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. Students may reside with only in the school campus, leaving campus unacceptable use of time. The itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on all of us. Rule 2. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and will be punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited as is destructions of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Oh, so you can be discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. This is bull. <laughs> what the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me! <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... But if he got punished like what we saw before... I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Eh. Yo. I, ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. So what? What? I made a ton of promises, and I still have to keep. That's so what? Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die here! None of that made much sense to me. <laughs> she said, whatever the heck that means. <laughs> Any askers? <laughs> but you are saying you'll follow the regulations, is that it? Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> um, I have a question. 
For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate, unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering, wait, this is you. <laughs> I was wondering about that myself. <laughs> it's saying, if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But, but why? Why do we have to do that? I don't see any reasons to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules that they've been explained to us. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. D don't take a jab at me. More like a full-on stave. Well, for now, let's forget all this silly junk about murderers or whatever. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there anywhere else? What about food and supplies? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Damn straight. Let's start looking around. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hmm. Someone here might have already had started thinking about murdering one of us. He's on to us. He's saying we should stand around. <laughs> he's he's on to us so bad. We're <laughs> we're screwed. <laughs> think we should stand around with any of them and in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Wait. Hold on a second, that would never... Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you're all seized up with fear when that graduation rule is made clear to you. Am I wrong? Uh, um, but... So I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Hold on. Like hell I'm gonna let you run around and do whatever you want. Out of my way, Plankton. I mean, what, SpongeBob? <laughs> what that supposed to mean? <laughs> yeah. One tiny bit of plankton drifting along in the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence in the boundless ocean. The Chum Bucket is an awesome restaurant! Stop it, we shouldn't bite! <laughs> the f*** is there? Goody goody little bitch. Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my dad or something? I hate my dad! <laughs> This guy's not gonna be in the video at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. You son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, mean. Wait, what him? Him? <laughs> He punched me. <laughs> what? And I flew back into the heat. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next second I was soaring through the air. Loser. Now that I think about it, maybe I kind of forgotten the kind of people I've been trapped here with. Losers. My common sense. <laughs> So I guess I shouldn't be surprised unless there's something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of the sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade, before it finally cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Uh, huh? Where, where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never been before. Okay, so, where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check the variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info into the report card section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. You can also save and load game data under the system section. Finally, press F2 to review the transcript. This records all pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. All right. Uh, what's that one key we can do? Tab. Tab. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna check on that. They're still bolted. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we're still not getting out. Must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain. Hmm, so we can keep the door locked. That's big. <laughs> big if true. Truly the best way is to just stay in your room and never come out. Yeah, like, will you just, like, sneak out and get food and wait for everyone, like, to die off? Yeah. <laughs> Some lint roller? We're supposed to clean up after ourselves? How do I, how do I go like a, oh, oh, that makes sense. What's this door? I'm guessing it's a bathroom. Uh, that's the exit. Leads outside, it's locked. Some of the doors have locks, huh? Uh, let's do this piece of paper. What says, Master Hanekuma, each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. For the boys, a tool kit. Wow, was this 1950s? <laughs> a sewing kit is, concludes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. 
for the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. Yay! Uh-huh. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Well, uh, let's not get rid of the idea entirely, Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, might no. still be good to uh, think about. Honestly, uh, the thing, we gotta be smart. We're not gonna be any of these guys, just like on sheer... I mean, we could definitely take out, like, the, like, writer chick. <laughs> but I think that's too obvious. If, like, we took her out, everyone would be like, hmm, who's the person that needs to take out the writer chick? <laughs> I, I don't know if that's really good, uh... If that's good reason... <laughs> Meaning to say you murdered someone. What? How is it? What's the problem? What's the problem with that? Huh? that opening. What? We gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta pee. Okay. What? What else can we click then? You're bad. Yeah. Some kind of monitor. <laughs> I hate monitors. Gosh. I don't see there's anything strange about the bed. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Is there anything else? The trash can, maybe? Just an everyday trash can. I don't think of any kind. Come on now. Yeah. Uh, what do we still need to click on? Oh, let's uh, see. So in the cabinet. Yeah. Oh, the your cool toolkit. Kit. Yes. All right. Due to hammer, we could definitely take out anybody but Sakura. <laughs> yeah. Wait, don't leave it. Blow. At least bring it with you. Oh my gosh, this dude's so dumb. He just realized this is his room. The key has my name on it. <laughs> Could this be my room? <laughs> he said it! <laughs> Dude, can you stop getting unconscious in the school of people that literally can kill? <laughs> what's everyone up to right now? Hey, what's the move tonight? <laughs> hey, we going out? <laughs> Clearly not. But it's still worth a shot. Can we go to the bathroom now? I guess the floor, I guess that's what the lit roller's for. No, you can press R now. Oh, okay. I guess we're just gonna go in that trash can. We're going to die. Yeah, I know. This RMC isn't really good at his job. Literally, I have n nothing of confidence in this dude. Wham! <laughs> we don't know who it is. Oh, it's you. Oh, Sayaka. Yeah, this would've been horrible if this was Japanese. <laughs> Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? You already asked that. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down the stage. You are literally Twig. We're also right outside my room that has my toolkit. Just wait one second. <laughs> but are you okay? I'll, I know Mondo right, hit you. I'll be right back. That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone like an idiot. <laughs> I guess I review my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto, I'm never uh -oh. going to love you. <laughs> I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. I was kind of worried that you really were, like, actually useless. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? <laughs> trying, to, trying to hang out? Um, actually, I came to get you. Want to come see my needles? <laughs> <laughs> my sewing kit? Well, if you... This is well, you. <laughs> come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. No one cared. We decided to be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about how we found out what we would each found out does that mean it's almost time to get back together if that's what's going on then of course i'll go with you that's good good instead of walking together i'll meet you there she doesn't want to be seen with you man all right first let's just figure out that whoa how far does this hole go oh okay i just need to make it sure i know everyone's room so to see who we can kill all right <laughs> we have fanfic psychic except he's like fortune teller it's also the psychic uh, baseball, buff, swimmer, what is she? Gambler, Gambler programmer. programmer, uh, writer, fashionista, pop star, <laughs> literally just rich, <laughs> tough guy, hey, it's us, <laughs> moral compass, dude, literally we could kill this guy so easily, he'd be like, I respect your decision. <laughs> This is a good idea. <laughs> Go home to your family. I, I understand your concerns for your family. <laughs> Do what you must. Uh, anyways. Where are we meeting? Where are we meeting? The dining hall? Oh, let's a sprint. <laughs> we <laughs> like super saiyan. It looks pretty clean, so that's good. Er, I guess that's not really important right now with us being prisoners and all. Hey, is hey, that hey, a... Glass window right there. We all have toolkits. Come on. <laughs> Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. Okay, let's just wait here. Hey, hey, want to see my needles? 
Huh? You heard that? Come on. I was just kidding. Seriously, I have amazing intuition. That's how I can tell that you're going to be an easy kill. <laughs> it's not how intuition works. <laughs> it's kind of sudden. I know, but here comes a tutorial. Let's talk about reactions. You're going to be talking Sayaka, right? Well, you're going to talk to her. Some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. When a purple will show up, if you press the right mouse, you'll go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use the WAS to make a selection. The left, oh my gosh, it's a lot. Comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever important school. This is intense. That's yeah, good job, Brian. I <laughs> good job. You used it. Get me outside. I see it right there. I'm pretty sure it's like an enclosed place, though. Yeah, true. All right, she's the only thing we can talk to. All right, Sayaka, what's going on? By the way, Makoto. What is it? Well, it's just, you know, I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted, but I wanted to ask you. We got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Okay. Sayaka wants to ask me something? Wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. You reaction the wrong thing, Brian! By what? Way, you gotta go to, but I wanted oh, to ask you something. Miss, okay, okay. Oh, okay, I get it. What you want to ask me? Did you happen to go to Black Road Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? No way, I was. I knew it. You were that really sad kid who didn't have any friends. Okay. Do you remember okay. me? Uh, do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as the question was that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey. Hey, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me, right? You missed your chance! <laughs> but that's true. But there's a lot of students in our grade, right? Plus I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Oh, can you stop talking to me then? You're really strange, and ugly, <laughs> and no one will ever love you. Strange? That's... <laughs> She started giggling even louder. <laughs> that somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I've ever smiled. <laughs> That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know someone here. Talking to you made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. Amazingly I, dumb. I literally didn't do anything. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I'm trash. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Can you please take a compliment? <laughs> Thanks. But let's stop. <laughs> and thank you for helping me out. I'm going to be your ultimate assistant. There is no way. There is no way a pop star. That a pop star is going to be our assistant. Just because we just knew her in high school. Huh? My assistant? Yeah. I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you. So we can get out of here. When she says things like that. It, it just gets me pumped up. Which is nice. But still. Everyone heals is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. All right, let's check the time. Um, so what time is it right now? It's seven o'clock at night? You were unconscious for a pretty long time, you wimp. It's nighttime, we gotta get out of here. I see. Without being able to look out the window, I've lost all- I'm pretty sure that place is enclosed. It's like a greenhouse. Oh, okay. If I had to stay in this place for too long, I might go crazy. Hey, um I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Taka threw open the dining hall doors right as Sokka said that. Ah, Makoto, Sayaka, you two got here first, huh? Too bad. I was sure I'd be everyone else here. I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. Haha, <laughs> you're a loser. Wow, she is mean. I Dude, swear. Wow, unprovoked. <laughs> Soon after that, everyone came strolling in one at the other. A few minutes later, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. What about, uh, what? what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl. Uh, oh yeah, Ayoko. What about her? She's not here. What? Took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Wait, so no one's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because you must kill someone to be killed if you want to leave? It's as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it all you achieve to the best outcome in the worst way possible. No, no, I'm just overthinking things. Darn it, Kyoko. You're really going to be late like this on our first day of school? 
Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. You're really being a jackass right now. You know that. Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. Now then, I declare the first session of the Hope's Peak Academy briefing message has begun. Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> You know? What are you? Why are you giggling all the time? You gotta, you gotta stop. If you're gonna be my assistant, you gotta take it down a notch. <laughs> I really have become your person. No, assistant. did you? Did you not listen to? Me? Don't you agree? <laughs> I may not be the best assistant. You're not. Me, you're not. <laughs> but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so little. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Who do you, who do you talk to? You. You. You're not in the back corner. You gotta tab it up. Oh, we can only talk. Ooh, we can talk to, uh, her. Oh. All right, what's up, assistant? So since you're in the dark, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone's split in to investigate different parts of the building, but Byakuya and Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. Who's Byakuya and Taka? Uh, Prodigy and then the uh, writer, I think. I think Taka is writer. No, Taka's okay. a different guy. I think we care more about Byakuya, because he's kind of like the lone wolf. He is cool. He is cool. I wanted to try and find some clues as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. Mm. Really? That's it? Hmm. If I had uncovered anything naturally, I would have more to say. But I didn't, so I don't. Right. Understood. Now you probably hey. have to hear from the other person, so you have to talk to her again. Ah. <laughs> Our assistant. <laughs> Meh. 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 I got bit. Okay, let's see about this, Chad. Oh, okay. I, that's not. Oh, there's a nickname. Okay, that's. Not, I spent some time looking around the dormitory, and there I made a discovery of the century. I found there's exactly one room for each. Really? Whoa. You figured it out nobody else did. That's crazy. Well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. You Thank dumbass. You. <laughs> each door had already a nameplate on it, so I guess. All the rooms have been assigned already. And each room was attached to a keychain with the owner's name pre precision etched onto it. Which confirms the room I was in earlier is... <laughs> back my... What is so hard to understand about that? <laughs> and Chihiro and I found out all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um... Oh? Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. It'll be great for murdering. Each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. Mm. But it looked like there were only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. But when I checked my bathroom door before... <laughs> Makoto. Oh, that's weird. Maybe I should double check that later. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're going to be here for a while, you know? Well, better have then than not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. That, that can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor Student? Got it. That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. We all went up and down the school, double checking the windows in all the halls and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates off. What happened was... Nothing. Not a damn thing. We gonna get a single one to budge even though, man. There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really had this been cut off. Bad. It sucks. Bad, 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 it bad, really bad. sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks. Sucks! <laughs> what the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on. Goddamn, calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. Great talk, everybody. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. we went in the dark, blah, 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 and then these people, and then, and then, okay, okay, okay. Let's listen to them. Action, reaction. <laughs> we thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with each other, so we looked all over, but we didn't find a thing. Sorry. I went back to the main hall. Thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. But even me and Sakura both would have budge! We'd have just chair <laughs> nothing. It was hard like metal. I hardly doubt Sakura can get that thing off. Well, yes, it is metal. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here, but it's not gonna be through there. I feel like I could just cry, but no. I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. <laughs> Hopkins, priority. So, I shall tell you what happened next. Why do you have the most normal voice for the most jacked character? <laughs> it has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. 
In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up the another floor. Oh? But if there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first floor. We can further assume that there's potentially something above the second floor as well. And in that case, there's at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Oh, okay. All right. Let me catch you up when you... <laughs> Stop skipping my dialogue! It's, it's, uh... <laughs> if I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. <laughs> we spent the entire time in the gym. What were you doing in the gym? Like, just fooling around? Just vibing. Honestly, we're not exactly types to go running around to school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the wrong with you? What the hell were you thinking? Just sitting around the gym the whole time. <laughs> but, well, it's not like any of you invited me along. No, we said, hey, come with us. I blame you for being you know, It's It's your fault. If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. Like I'd want to go anyway. We're dirty sluts! Thank you. Slut! Your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. Are you for real? I, I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? <laughs> hey, come on. All right, all right, guys. Everyone, just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know? Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now. You're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sash. Shut up. Hey, um. So that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. Talk to me! Uh, <laughs> I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen. And I was like, damn, Daniel. All right, could you focus on that? It's not food, Sayaka. We have more important <laughs> things to do with you. I guess we don't have to worry about food. I ate all the chicken. I'm, you're my first on the hit list. <laughs> sure, for now. But even with all that, there are 15 of us. Well, actually 14 now, it looks like. How long can the food last? Dude, come on. <laughs> you, you can't just eat sesame seeds or something. Huh? What am I, a parakeet? <laughs> I mean, you kind of, you know, it, we matter more. But anyways, all the food gets restocked automatically each day. How do you know that? At least that's oh. what Monokuma said. You saw him? Okay. Yeah, we're besties. Then he disappeared. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving around with a remote control. A weaponized toy that just appeared from nowhere? I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything? Eat her? Um, what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? What the hell, man? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> this is out of nowhere, unprovoked. He's like, we're gonna eat people? <laughs> what the hell, fatty? You're acting like some kind of drunk sleazy dude. Not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey, stop squaring around, all of you. Are you all still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all die in any second. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes. <laughs> we gotta do something. Voice cut through the noise. And run thing, Mondo Wando. You're all spending a lot of time. Yelling and carrying on. Do you oh, really think that's the girl I thought it was cool. <laughs> Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yoko, what the heck have you been? We've already started the meeting without you. He said she just <laughs> dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be the map. <laughs> yeah, you all what have the? one when you press tab. <laughs> How do I press tab in real life? <laughs> Where did you find this? Wow. I press tab, you dumbass. It does matter. You're freaking us out right now. How do you press tab? <laughs> Never mind. What's it mean? Just look at it, you <laughs> it's dumbass. A map. It's like, what does this mean? It's a map. <laughs> How do you use it? <laughs> <laughs> the building we're in is being laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. Well, in terms of construction, yes. But it looks like it had a number of strange renovations done to it. Oh? Renovations? However. Shut up! Stop asking me questions! <laughs> oh, okay. But then if this is really old speak, we didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid is not possible! This is where the country's future elite are. 
But if this is really Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Come on, guys, let's stop talking about the, you know, negative stuff. Aren't you worried? Like, this, we're, we're gonna die. I'm Patrick. I mean, Yasuhiro. I mean, this is all planned. And if we change the M from Mini to W for Wombo, it should all be fine. <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time like this happened, I've had Ectoblast. What is going on? What are you life? talking about, dude? <laughs> Please help. You, I have a screwdriver with your name on it. <laughs> Good things come for those who wait. Eh? <laughs> so we gotta chill. <laughs> What's your problem? What, why are you laughing? What, what's so funny? <laughs> I'm just happy is all. It seems putting up to investigate was a good idea, after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We, we didn't find anything. Didn't find who's behind this. We're still no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? It's not crystal clear to you what's going I'm on? Okay it is perfectly obvious that we've been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had a response to that. We didn't want to accept the reality. But it was staring us right in the face. You, you didn't have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. No way out? We're trapped here? What are we supposed to do? It's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill- Stop it! Don't even joke about that! Yeah. I want to be the one that kills you all. Wow. We need to stop and think about what to do from here, I mean. This seems like... There's gotta be someone that's gonna be an easy kill. All we can do is not die. Dying is living our lives here from the now. What? Live here? But I'm bloodthirsty. A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Well, wow, I didn't have to change that. That was horrific. <laughs> Survival is not based on who is the strongest or smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually. As someone who's come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> we all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the room regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us what to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Mm -hmm. B but, but that's why? my killing time. The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try and come and kill us. If we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as some kind of preventative measure. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to follow and agree. I don't get it. Just like, if you want to not go in, just like, don't go in. Like, you know, like, if you don't want to yeah. be outside at night, just like, stay in your room. Like, nobody's forcing you to go out. What Anyways. I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like the little golf lot leash you just said. <laughs> Without something like that, we're just going to self-destruct. On behalf of all the men here, I agree to come. Who? Who? said you're the leader here. <laughs> you can't just speak for us. So everyone is in agreement? Good. <laughs> then if you all excuse me. Huh? huh? You're my murder victim. It's almost nighttime. I want to prepare for everyone's death. I hope you are well. So goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. So I guess it's pretty obvious we are going to go from here. We're spending the night, it looks like. Adaptability. Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. Um, well then, what we'll say we all call it an end to today's meeting? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Do we really have to stay the night here? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. Uh, this sucks. So we have to give up. That's fine and all good for today. But what do we do tomorrow? So in the end. Our only option is to cry and let everyone know, yeah, if we find anything. That was beautiful. Okay, let's do that. Then we're done for today. Good, I'm exhausted. Deuces! Bye! With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah. 
let's blow this popsicle stand. Oh, that was so cool. You're such a cool guy. Thank you. Is this really where I'll be staying for this foreseeable future? I don't get what the issue here is. Yeah, they it's nice place. Literally just chilling with like a group of people and they get free food. Yeah, I'd be down. Like, you can't even go like a week. They're like one night and they're already like, ah, <laughs> bathroom break. But actually, yes, let's check the bathroom. That That's that's not your bathroom. Oh my gosh. I better not go. I really want to go outside. <laughs> oh, thank rattle, goodness. Rattle, rattle. Oh my gosh. Bzz, bzz, wrong. Not locked. Holy crap. Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. What? Like some kind of robot bear goat? You want to take my Okoto? Uh, uh, what are you doing here? I need to poop. Makoto <laughs> Naehi, this is super duper majorly bad. So bad, it's almost magical. Ultra magical, awful, awful attack. Uh -huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. I will poop on my bed if you do not hurry this up. <laughs> hey, um... Didn't you see that notice? What, can't you read? The bathroom in the boys' bathroom doesn't have locks. I mean, a lock on the boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Well, it's not that pointless, I guess, but it's, I'm no expert in the birds and the bees. What is he talking about? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door, and that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob and then pull up while you pull. Go ahead, give it a try. <laughs> oh, I'm so weak. This is so hard. Oh, it opened. Oh, see, you're just a dummy. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? You're so stupid. <laughs> you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all. Bye. Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here. <laughs> Goodbye. God, I'm such a dumbass for not even trying to wiggle around my doorknob. That's an ice ball, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did, oh why goodness. did he not even try, like, wiggling his doorknob around? <laughs> He's just like, ugh, didn't work. He probably didn't touch the doorknob. He just tried pushing it open. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but what if you want a late-night snacky? You just gotta stock up. <laughs> you gotta bring all the snacks with you to bed. Dude, if this was actually what i do, is I'd, like... I'd hang out with people, but I'd spend most of my time in my room just chilling. And, like, yeah. just, like, doing push-ups. <laughs> yeah, just get in swole. <laughs> Come out into your lady strong as Sakura and then be like, sup. <laughs> okay, can we can we go to the bathroom now? <laughs> Collapse my bed. My eyes almost closed. Can you let us act? My eyes ready for bed. <laughs> exactly. I was just... <clears throat> Sounds like you were ready for bed, dude. <laughs> I wasn't ready for bed. I just couldn't be awake any longer. Oh, damn. They don't have TV here. That sucks. Or like some kind of illusion where I've been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. <laughs> Makoto's right. like, damn, I really wanted to finish Breaking Bad. This is so sad. <laughs> now I'm gonna forget what happened in the show and I can't come back. <laughs> me, me, me. How, how do you think Makoto would snore? Is it like a honk shoe or the me, me, me? Yeah, he's a me, 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 me. So this is how the curtain closed on his first day <laughs> of Seek Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? And I can watch Breaking Bad? <laughs> I really want to watch Breaking Bad, man. I'm on the last season. What kind of lame as far as endings go? But I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. Monokuma uh, Theater, yay! Any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher, but when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope's Peak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. Damn, that was kind of a bad episode of Monokuma Theater. Yeah, I was. he didn't he just sat there, man. Yeah, it's kind of boring. All right, let's see. He's giving us a message. Oh my God, we have a 7 a.m. alarm. Yeah, <laughs> damn. Ugh. <laughs> I'm just like, I wasn't able to sleep last night for obvious reasons. What were the obvious reasons? Some being scared someone's going to murder you at night. Oh, can you not lock your door? No, you can. You can. Yeah. So what's the scare? I, I mean, it's still be pretty scary that someone like tries to pickpocket it or something. I'm pretty sure everyone would go insane from the lack of sunlight in like a week. Yeah. Anyway, what should I do now? Ugh. Maybe I should go find Sayaka, and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant Dude, now. he's simping so hard. No, she's simping. She's the assistant. That's true. But he's simping over her simping. True. Decided. Yeah. I'm going to head to her room. <laughs> yes. I'm not even knocking. 
He's just, I'm going to her room. Oh gosh, she's. <laughs> He's oh like, gosh. you better not. You be <laughs> she's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Uh, where's her room? Hers was right by yours, I think. You He's still looking at have... you. <laughs> so scared. Okay, see ya. <laughs> Can you say anything, man? <laughs> like, he's just yes. Like... Hey. <laughs> Morning, my God. <laughs> Good. That's you. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Yes, morning greetings are quite the length. Such an energizing way to start the day. Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Is he like two feet taller than us? Like, what are I like? <laughs> yeah, I just... he is. He's a Giga Chad. <laughs> <laughs> We're like at his weight. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> where is she? That's her. Right. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna use the doorbell like a normal person. Hey. Oh. Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, perfect timing. Wanna come see my needles? <laughs> huh? Um, Listen, I have a favor to ask. A favor? I was hoping to get ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, um, <laughs> I was thinking that there might be something we could do that use for self-defense. I'm gonna die. Self-defense? <laughs> well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us at any time. You never know. Whoever trapped us here? Whoever presents us with the rules for murdering each other? Whoever put us in this insane position? She's right. We never know when they might attack. So I wanted to be able to protect myself, no matter what happens. Oh, even if we? A weapon to protect yourself. Now that I think about it, that display case in the gym entry had a bunch of stuff. The sword! Oh, the gym? I want that sword. No, I'm taking it. Like I said, I'm like I said, I'm oh my gosh, she's, <laughs> she knows we're gonna take it. <laughs> Come on, I'm kidding. Seriously, I have amazing intuition. Am I really that e like? Do, do are we are we subtle at all? Like, <laughs> for anyone who, who was saying this, <laughs> it looks like something Kayakama would say. <laughs> oh no, it's just the you can now teleport. No, we're literally like a speed demon. It takes us like five seconds, anyways. <laughs> You're like about to get killed. You just teleport. <laughs> Try not to teleport inside any walls. We didn't code the game well enough for that. <laughs> yeah, please. Oh my <laughs> god, these people are terrifying. I can't do it. <laughs> she just uh, shows up with a knife in her hand. What if there's a mod what? where they just all have knives in their hands with like crazy oh my eyes? Gosh. Dude, that would be. We're she's, literally like this. She's so much king. taller than you. It's <laughs> like a baby to her. You're a short king, man. <laughs> yeah, you are my assistant. <laughs> and and you keep pulling it in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where are we going? Dining hall? No, we're going to the gym. Yeah. Uh, where's the gym? Oh, I think through that gate, maybe? Or a stairwell, probably. No, uh, well, actually, you can't go up the stairs. Bonk. What's the point of having You're gonna block them off. I think if you go through that part on the left. Yeah. Oh my god, did you see Celeste? They keep showing what? up. What? What? What the frick, man? Okay, I'm actually getting scared. <laughs> this game's actually terrifying. How tall is she? <laughs> Dude, you are a short king. Damn, she has a nice uh, ring. Dude, she totally like stab her. <laughs> <laughs> Such a <Nope>. terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a great like horror game setup. Like the way they just stand. Yeah, no, it would be. <laughs> and they just <laughs> showing up at random places. Look, he's just like, hello. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah, try going through there. If anyone like shows up, I'm gonna be so terrified. What's this room? Classroom. Oh, okay. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, it's, you gotta it's a face your fears. She's a hundred percent. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna actually talk to you. Toko with those other two, quite a combination. Eh. What's your what, what do you want? You look like you have something to say. 
I was just thinking about how ugly you are. Let me make this perfectly <laughs> clear. Me hang out with two people who have muscles where their brain should be. Wow, you are a, a mean person. Like, hey, Fre Freddy stands, by the way. I do not think she's ugly, okay? Please don't hurt me. She's actually, like, mean, though. Yeah, thank you for calling her out. That was super mean. Yesterday, you were complaining about how no one invited you. That's the only reason I asked you to come with us. I never asked you to do that. To stop trying to drag me into further into meat dimension. <laughs> Jeez, I can't believe she just ran off. You think we should go after her? We shouldn't pressure her any further. Oh yeah, good point. They're like water and oil. Anyway, it'd be weird if they did get along. No, I actually don't like Toko. Like she's, she just seems mean. Like she's, she called like the one girl a slut for like no reason. <laughs> yeah, she and did then, do that. Like she's not nice. Okay. Anyways, let's go in the gym. Hopefully nobody's beating us to the sword. Nah, it's vibing. It's vibing. Oh, she was there first. Oh no. It's just unsheathed. Is that a sword? Oh no, I think it's. A... What do you mean a replica of a sword? That's still a sword. Yeah, you can still use it. <laughs> it's it's a gold. It's literally a sword covered in gold. I'm pretty sure that still works. <laughs> Jeez, I barely touched it and got that gold stuff all over my hand. Oh, you can't. You'll literally be caught gold-blooded. Yeah, <laughs> gold-blooded. Better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um, you should take it with you. It might help liven up your room a little. Dude, literally, you could just be in your room, just like eating, doing push-ups, and then just like practicing sword. <laughs> Getting ready. Like, just keep that thing on you. Like, don't actually use it unless yeah, you have to. Unless you need to. Unless you need to. Yeah. You'd be better... Be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in a newspaper or something. Just like that, it's been decided. I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. Really? You don't have the, the sewing kit or the samurai armor? <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it anyway, right? But if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. <laughs> You're too much of a pussy. Thank you for saying that. If I got you on my side, I really do still need a weapon. Just so trusting. Like, you don't know this kid. <laughs> so I could kill that she said that. That mysterious <laughs> sound. <laughs> okay, I'm not at ease. <laughs> when I look at her, I feel like I am going to get stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's hang out more. <laughs> Makoto! Look at me! <laughs> Oh, with some sort. Right, so why is a helmet on display? <laughs> the Buddha statue? That's a weapon. That's something like that on display. What do you mean, why is that on display? Like, it's a statue. <laughs> a plaque. Please don't tell me why is that on display. <laughs> why do they have one of those? <laughs> a trophy? What does that mean? Terracotta clay figures? They don't look like anything you put in a high school gym. Really? Money! Have you heard of, have you heard of art class, my dude? Okay, last thing we can look up here. There's all kinds of stuff on the shelves above. What, what do you need that for? Why are those on display? Oh, the uh, exit? What, what else can we look at? Talk to me! <laughs> I hate you! Okay, 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 fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Stop giggling like a weirdo. Sorry, I don't know what to talk to you. I was the one who invited you to come here. Sorry! It's it's not okay. You're such a waste of time. I think I might just get this over with and stab you. <laughs> I mean, we could just not talk, right? <laughs> you don't you don't have to force yourself to talk. Like we have nothing in common. Yeah. Okay, you're just bored, just standing there doing nothing. Uh, okay. I never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to do nothing. I guess that makes you really boring. You're not a normal high school student. You're a bum. <laughs> um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... What What do you think she's going to say here? If you had the uh, guess, what do you think she's going to say? Can I stab you? Can we just get this over? Just... <laughs> do you have a dream? Let's just not react to that. <laughs> no, we'll, no, we'll react. <laughs> What's your dream? I'd love to hear it. My dream is, I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. Like, aren't aren't you one right now? I grew up without a mother, you know? No, I, I didn't know that. And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I, why do you sound like the baseball player? <laughs> I wasn't just a kid, you know. <laughs> I was really lonely. You, like, rip off your mask and it's him. <laughs> but all that changed when I saw a pop star. 
on the TV. She was so pretty, <laughs> like a princess, and she could sing and dance. I hardly, I very much doubt you're actually a pop star. <laughs> <laughs> but more than anything else, there was your smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. Please tell me you're definitely like cutting people's mouths off and like adding to a <laughs> smile collection. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's really <laughs> terrible. You aren't a pop star. I haven't seen you sing or dance or anything besides just smile cryptically. Honestly, it's really sad. Uh, I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. She's 100% killed like her best friend to become a <laughs> pop star. What? You see. I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off the dream, not even for a second. I've never even watched Breaking Bad. Yaka, we gotta get you to watch Breaking Bad. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go back to my crib. <laughs> to make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. Yeah, I think you've probably seen Call Better Call Saul. <laughs> of course not. I don't have time for TV. Only anime. One Piece. We just came up on the actual <laughs> cast. <laughs> One Piece takes up all my time <laughs> because I keep rewatching it. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. It sounds like you need to find a new show, you <laughs> loser. It's not fun watching One Piece. Oh no. Dumbass. Yeah, it is. It's super fun. But. That's what scares me. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, I enjoy watching One Piece every single day I wake up. I get to watch it. Everyone in the show is amazing. I love them so much. I just keep watching and they're like a family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together, to fulfill our dreams, to become the king of the pirates, it's brought me so much happiness. Real talk, she's not making any sense here right now. <laughs> That's why. But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? What are you saying? Then the dream dies, those wonderful days come to an end, and everyone goes their separate ways. Sayaka, you're really not making any sense. She's trembling. She must be terrified of <laughs> when One Piece ends. <laughs> she worked so hard, <laughs> sacrificed so much to watch every single episode. She must be terrified of losing it. And that's why I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? There's no TVs to watch that one piece. Um, I'm gonna kill Oda, and then I'll start writing it. It's guaranteed. <laughs> then, I'll be the one to make sure it never ends. Forever and ever. At least that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but now we're trapped here. With no way out. They're probably waiting for me. Why I'm in here. The world oh. is out there forgetting about me. Dude, look at her eyes. Minute by minute. One Piece episodes are disappearing. <laughs> they're, they're coming out. We're not watching them. <laughs> but still. Dayaka, uh, you, your eyes lost their color. I'm pretty sure you're dead. I can't afford to be stuck in here. I love One Piece. <laughs> that was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She must really love that random show. She sounds desperate to watch more. But I can understand why she'd feel that way if I was a weeb. <laughs> Trapped in here? This is the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever? And that isn't something that can be fixed off a few episodes. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to complain. I don't even think that's going to complaining like that. Um, I kinda killed the mood, huh? Huh? Yeah, let's just... Huh? <laughs> Speaking of kill... <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. I just love One Piece. Um, Sayaka, actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? You want me to make us something to eat? What the hell? Just because I'm a woman, you sexist asshole? Wow. Wow, really? What's your specialty? What the hell? Did you even hear a thing I said? Chili oil. <laughs> that sounds horrible. You mean the condiment? <laughs> Just kidding. I don't like your humor. I might have to stab you with the sword. <laughs> she burst out laughing. <laughs> Her early mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd grown quickly used to. But how'd it happen so fast? It's almost like a mask of some kind of neutral expression. <laughs> Alright. How do we use this bad boy? 
<laughs> anyway, we head to the dining hall to get something to eat before returning to our rooms. Do 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 do. Oh, the sword! Now it's ready. The fake sword. Come, it's still a sword. <laughs> yeah, he's so dumb. <laughs> It's a fake sword. It's, if it's sharp, it's sharp. Like, who cares? <laughs> Make me feel much more uncomfortable. Loser. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> There's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first... Free time! Adventure. Would you like to hear more? Yeah, let's actually hear more. If you look at your school life here, you'll be given free time at certain points. You can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono Machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Keep in mind that when you talk with classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end, and the story will progress. If you prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep to skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then... Anyway, why don't you try it out by spending some time with Miss Sayaka Maizono? She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? No. Wait! Th that sound effect! That's leave from Comic Crash! Oh yeah! That is the same! <laughs> They stole it. Nobody's gonna know that reference. <laughs> oh, I make... never even realized that. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so random. That's the, the two most random games. Yes, let's go out. <laughs> but yeah, basically, you can decide if you want to hang out with someone. Okay, let's see who's all out and about right now. Okay, nobody's in the bedrooms. You're there. You're here. Laundry. I don't know why I need to go in there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I need a moment. <laughs> um, I feel like we talked to the girl that doesn't want to talk to anybody. She seems cool. Hayoko. Why is Hope Speak Academy like this? Very bizarre. That's, that's great. Really <laughs> enjoyed our conversation. <laughs> oh gosh, is this guy gonna be taller than the stew? No, he's like almost our height, actually. <laughs> Probably like one of the shortest people here. <laughs> Let's go in the dining hall. Does time pass so we like go in a room? No, it's oh. only if you hang out with someone. Okay, that's what I thought. Oh, you're kind of creepy. What do you think? Should we talk to her or Fashionista? Well, so this is, uh, it also decides, see, it's who you want to, like, become friends with or date. If you get we deep enough date? relationships. Well, kind of. Can you date multiple people? Yes. At the same time? Yeah. Well, it's not, like, actually dating, but it's, like, I don't know if it's only in the second game, but I know in the second game, at least, you get their panic. There's a second? Hmm? Anyway. Um, it's implied that something happens. Okay, we'll talk to Celeste because she freaks me out. We gotta get in good terms with her. <laughs> you're into that? No, you're the one that said you wanted to stab you in the neck with her nails. All Everyone's right. working hard, trying to figure out an exit, are they not? Hmm, good luck with that. I have no interest in such menial labor. How are you supposed to hang out with people? Alright, good talk. Yeah. Maybe right, try going to the other room? What a room. Oh, oh yeah, they said talk with Sayaka first. Oh, yeah, maybe they're forcing you to hang out with her first. Oh, uh, she's so lame. Yeah, I agree. The fact that she just, like, already wants to be her assistant is just so weird. I guess I, sh I guess I should press the doorbell. You know, Makoto, it's kind of weird how you keep coming to my room. I'm afraid of you. Well, I'd usually just say it. Hmm, should I talk to her for a while? I, I guess we have to. Nobody's even giving us like more than a sentence. Are you gonna try and cheer me up? Sorry for making me take all your time out of your day like this. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Do we have a present? I don't know. Let's try, try and try. see. We're gonna give her like a piece of paper or something. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't think you have anything yet. You gotta get them from the place. Yeah, whatever. Just don't worry about it. Do you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? Weren't we just doing that? What's wrong? Why are you acting like we didn't just have a conversation? I... Well, I guess that, that was kind of formal, but it's because I know I can count on you. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> huh? Having you by my side makes me feel a lot better. Uh, um... You're such a wimp that I don't even think you have the ability to kill me. You have that sword and you haven't even tried to use it. I hate that we meet in awful conditions, but I'm relieved you're with me so I can use you as a meat shield. Sayaka. 
Standing in your face to face, you say that. It's nice, but kind of embarrassing <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> I know how you feel. You're being here with, with what saved me. Really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That's terrifying. That smile. That mysterious smile that boils my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile is going to kill me. But it's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get the chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talk to me. In fact, you never talk to anyone, you loser. <laughs> it's because you freak me out. I'm... I don't go outside. <laughs> Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Because I'm kinda into you. Even oh da 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 See, this is what I'm talking you. about. She's... You can't show somebody that, like, literally, like... The, the whole concept of, like, oh... I never, like, paid attention to her, which is like, come on, dude. I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. Why? Literally, we have shown no signs of being <laughs> interesting in any way, shape, or form. You wanted to talk to me? But I've had so many people around me. I was like, well, I guess I don't need him. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Do you want to, like, shame me or something? Like, you, you just say it. <laughs> Do you remember during our first year of junior high, that huge bird wandered into the school pond? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of like a fairy tale. The turtle once every million years, that bird once every thousand. No. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, I'm, I'm actually pro crane gang, because whenever I see a crane, I say crane gang. All right, so, all right, fair. It was a crane! <laughs> Just walks right. Isn't that sick? That's right. That's what it was. What? Was that like a bad option? Like, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what the right choice is. <laughs> Crane gang. <laughs> Crane you led gang. it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. I should have said thank you then, but... Is it okay if I do it now? No. <laughs> I'm that crane, you see. I, I'm i a bird. You're yeah. weird. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Okay, so the only reason she wanted to talk to us is because we, like, talked, we, like, moved some bird. <laughs> we met again at the train station somewhere downtown. That'd make a very nice dramatic reunion. What are you talking about? <laughs> but instead, it's this weird school. Maybe, but still, I'm sure you'll help me find a way out. Just like that crane, you'll save me. Dude, this is freaky. It's just your intuition. I know. But I still believe it. This is freaky, man. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best. I promise that. I'll make sure that <laughs> when <laughs> there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. <laughs> He's more psychic than the literal psychic. Because <laughs> like I'm, I'm psychic. psychic. <laughs> What's the other <laughs> She laughed out loud as she said it. It was horrifying. She's literally just like saying, like laughing out loud. She didn't even laugh. The closer we get, the stronger that smile of her makes me. I'm terrified to feel that way. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. I need to use this sword by now. Come on, man. Oh, it's nighttime. Today's already come to an end, but I swear tomorrow I'm gonna find some sort of clue. I swear. Okay, he's not even letting us get the option to like go out. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Sayaka. I am such a simp. It's almost frustrating. <laughs> if I would understand her desperation is coming from, I can't share it in, in it. The pressure she's under is way different from any North High School like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did. I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to her, no, compared to everyone else here. There's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess I might explain my own frustration. She needs to chill. Just like, can you go five minutes without being like, a sad about yourself? Like, come on. Ahem. I'm so I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but there's still